Uh, hi everyone, welcome to the world of hacking. Uh, today we are going to learn one new attack called uh, clickjacking. So most of them are familiar with this kind of attacks in your daily lives. You might have seen the scenarios, but you may not aware that is a clickjacking attack. So any non-technical people or any technical people, they might have seen when they browse the internet, you will be getting some links getting pop up in your browser asking to claim your prize click here to win iphone click here to get some amazon offers you know something uh, links which you will be seeing and you are clicked somewhere in your life and you don't know after clicking what happens the background code will execute so that is some kind of a click jacking attack let us see the descriptions or the definitions from the standard websites, what they are talking about the clickjacking. So this is the standard website of OWSP where they are giving some definition like clickjacking is also known as UI redress attack. So this is an attacker when it uses the multiple layers to trick the user into clicking on a button or link on another page when they are intending to click on the top level page. It is nothing but simple, you know, uh, we are going to click something which is happening background, the different code, but you see something to click in the top level page. That is how attacker can do some hijacking clicks and he gains some information from the user. So sometimes using this similar technique, keystrokes also can be hijacked. So we are we must be very careful when clicking any kind of links. So here there is an example. Imagine an attacker builds a website that has a button, says click here for a free iPod. However, on the top of that web page, attacker has loaded an iframe with your mail account and lined up exactly the delete all messages. This button directly on top of the free iPod button, the victim tries to click on the free iPod button, but instead actually clicked on the invisible delete all messages button. That means attacker has hijacked the user's click hence the name clickjacking so it was the best example from owsp to understand it in a layman language so let us see some uh, understanding from portsvigar so portsvigar is also one of the standard website to learn so clickjacking is an interface based attack in which a user is tricked into clicking on the actionable content on a hidden website by clicking on some other content in a decoy website so this is also saying some example of related to what is clickjack and this is hijacking the click and actually we are doing some other action when we click the particular link so let us try to do the practical example of clickjacking to know that we need to have one question how to check if your site is vulnerable to clickjacking. So for this answer, we need to create one HTML code for testing the clickjacking in the website. So let us create one. So clickjacking code OWSP. We will take it from OWSP standard. And let us execute that. So here we have some code, HTML code. Try to copy this.
copy this code into the notepad and save it as html save as html click jacking new dot html so let us open this in the notepad plus plus So now let us see, we have written some HTML and in the head, we have a title. So click Jack text page. Let us write, click here, go in iPod. This is the title. And we are iframing the URL, which we are trying to test it. So for this example, we have taken the eligible URL where we have the legally permission to test it. So please try to do the ethical hacking and take permission of the website where you can do it. So I'm just replacing this and writing the demo test file. To get this some width, I have given the width height as well. And this is iframe closed. And I'm iframing this website into a particular website where it will be trying to load an iframe. So that is a click jacking where we can see it got executed. If the iframe got loaded, then it is vulnerable to click jacking. If iframe source is not loaded, it is not a vulnerable to click jacking. So try to load this in the browser. So let us close this and load this in the browser. Yes, we are able to load this frame where we have given the width and height, which is being loaded successfully. So in general, this should not get loaded. So if this is loaded, then, you know, any attacker can form and attack and ask victim to click here something to get the action done so how are we going to prevent it we are going to prevent this attack auto fix and prevent click jacking there are two possible directives we can use in the server header in the response header that is x frame options we need to set it to deny if you do not want any application to iframe and if your application is having subdomains where you need to iframe of your own url you need to use x frame options same origin these two conditions can prevent this attack i hope it is clear uh, happy hacking thank you